Ladies and gentlemen, it is a metal perspective. We've had a two week hiatus. Hiatus implies break. I don't think we've had much we of a break. a break. Well, it, it really is a break. I mean, what, what break, break from break the show, break? not a break from fucking anything else. Break from fucking reality, I wish. This is kind of a break from reality. I like doing this shit. Yeah, I agree. You know, although we do bring a lot of reality into the fucking show. You know, how many F words is that now? Well, is that three already in 30 seconds? I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm so getting it means better. we can't, still can't be fucking monetized on YouTube now. Oh, I don't give two fucking shits about fucking YouTube. And you said the F word once. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, did you uh, hear uh, Megadeth was in a lawsuit uh, with their illustrator on uh, album art? Now, is that what you want me to look up? Is that, is that the thing you're Oh, the, to... uh, the Megadeth. Uh, Megadeth's going to be in Tampa. That's what she wanted to look up. June, 20, June 24th. So, Megadeth's summer tour date. Summer 2023 tour. And we'll get into this here in a minute. And it's not, not me, and it's not beer. Uh, June 24th, Tampa, Mansfield, Ohio, the 16th, July 16th, the 23rd. Catawist, Poland. Hey, wasn't there something that like despicable on on the kid's birthday on on seven twenty one? Wasn't there a fucking movie? Or was it a good movie? I know there was a fucking movie coming out on seven twenty one, twenty three. Was it the fucking Marvels that looks horribly fucking awful? Oh man, that just fucking looks awful. You know, and if you ever want to take a character character and tuck their cock up between her fucking legs like a woman. Mm. Well, women don't have cocks. But, uh, uh, Barbie. Well, is that Bar- Barbie's on? What else? There's something else. Oppenheimer. 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 Ah. July 21st. And there are a lot of fucking movies about uh, Oppenheimer and, you know, Manhattan Project, all that shit. Uh, I don't know. It looks kind of good, though. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It does look good. You know, he died radiation poisoning, right? I think it was him. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've... Play with fire. Yeah. Well, the Germans were ahead. They had irradiated a few of their people in the 20s. uh, Started messing around with the nuclear program. And then, you know, the U.S. did. Or 20s? Yeah, 28, I think it was. And they they were kind of serious. And then Hitler said, fuck no, we're going to do other shit. Or something like that. Man, I'm, I'm, I'd have to read on that to uh, freshen up on what I know what, or what I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Metal, Metal Death settled, uh, Metal Death, Megadeth settled their lawsuit with their artist. Uh, it's actually a pretty fucking cool, The Sick, Dying, and the Dead. Uh, pretty fucking cool album cover. It kind of reminds me of uh, some of the early shit. You know, so far so good, so what? Uh, yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Anyway, uh, so how is Miller's stock looking today? And we're gonna get into this. I don't know. I didn't look. Oh, uh, then you? no, I haven't looked. I've I've been busy as shit. Uh, this is the reason why I'm drinking uh, whiskey today. Is it's a good uh, change. You know, I had to change because fuck Miller, and if they're serious on that shit, uh, how do you feel about that? Over there. Go throat. Um, it's 34.48. It's down 1.4%. 1.4%. Come on, you bitches. I can't fucking believe they're well, only down 1.4%. I think 1. people 4%. think it's a joke. People don't know how to take it because yeah, they're... They're down 1.5%. Yeah. yeah, but still. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to offend a lot of people. The general public are idiots. <laughs> you, You'd make Lars really happy. <clears throat> well, he said the same thing about his fans. No, 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 no. The, well, the fan, the fans know what they want. There's a difference between metal fans and the general public. Uh, people who read news or don't read news or can't read fucking between the lines. And this is the fact that you know, you were slapped in the face with a big giant dildo, and you're standing there looking at the person like. Was that supposed to be funny? No, it wasn't funny, man. They just slapped you in the fucking face. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. They they didn't went the Bud Light route. 
Yeah, it was kind of weird. And, and then I thought Not it was quite, like a but... parody of them fucking with Bud Light. Right. But I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I saw it. it I, I, don't, I don't know how to take it either. I don't know if they were fucking around. I don't take it as a fucking around. Well, because personally. It, when you watch it, okay, the first time you're like, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. And then you watch it the second time and you're like, are they serious or are they not? What the fuck's going on? Are they like serious about yeah. these women? Because what what they're saying is that with without women, you're not going to have beer. No, that's not true. I do. Someone close. else is going to be there doing it. They're not doing it. Uh, None well, of those women in there are doing that. And they were showing a nun in there. Well, because. From my understanding, monks made beer was so long ago, or however, but uh, beer's been, been around for a long, long fucking time, and uh, it's not just a, a man thing or a woman thing or a man and woman thing, it's just a fucking thing, you know, it's somebody made it, somebody else copied it. I don't understand why they have to say, oh, if it wasn't for fucking women, we wouldn't have beer, it's bullshit. I'd be fine with that anyway, because I just drink meat all the fucking time. That's actually my drink of choice. You know that. Mm-hmm. The problem is, is the meat I make is too damn potent. If I had a whole glass of fucking mead, most it'd, so it'd be it like says, having... So women shouldn't be forced to mud wrestle in order to sell, bi- sell beer. Miller Lite trashes its 2003 cat fight ad. As it hits back at critics over its apology for using women in bikinis to sell beer, as Trump advisor slam firm. Hmm. So there you Martin have it. Coors, which owns Miller Lite, was quickly to defend the ridiculousness of its advertisement. The company put the campaign out in March, before Bud Light's now infamous link with Mulvaney. Yeah, the difference is, is the uh, the campaign versus the commercial. Uh, you, we didn't, I haven't seen the commercial until now. Uh, apparently it's new. Well, I guess the commercial's new. I've never seen it before or heard of it before. Yeah. But it's, you're shitting all over a demographic of people that drink more beer than women do. I mean, seriously, is that let fucking women's drink of fucking choice is beer? I don't fucking think so. I think not. Miller like boycott grows calls grow over beer commercial. Did nobody learn? And then Miller like gets Bud Light back. Like that's our viral ad goes woke. Um, uh, they didn't get backlash enough because they only went down one one and a half percent in a fucking day. In, in stocks. See, you know, the problem well, is... It takes a little bit, but... No, it was we'll like see. immediate with the uh, Mulvaney bullshit and Bud Light. Bud Light tastes well, like Coors, fucking swell anyway. Coors owns Miller Light. And Coors has always tastes like fucking shit. Dog piss. Yeah. So... I mean, it's more like drinking water, watered-down beer is mm-hmm. what it tastes like. It's just water. Watered-down beer. Yeah. Coors tastes burnt to me. I don't know why. It just tastes burnt. Yeah. It tastes awful. I was watching a couple German guys. Uh, I'd rather have a Heineken. No, I was watching them uh, cut apart American beer. It's like, you know, I, I don't give two fucking shits what, what the Germans think. Germans can kiss my ass. Hopefully Sam Adams won't jump into this. Yeah. I li- well, deal. see, that's the thing. is I like Yingling. It tastes, tastes good. But That's gross. I, you don't like Yingling? Mm-hmm. Have you tried the light beer? I just tried the oh. ones that they drink. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll be buying... The problem is, is getting Sam Adams here. The the Sam Adams that you want. Sam Adams Light. Sam Adams Light, or just regular ass fucking Sam Adams. There's always some kind of gimmicky Sam Adams in there. I don't want Oktoberfest. I don't want Summer Ale. I don't want any of that shit. I want regular, flat-out fucking Sam Adams. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? Or Sam Sam Light. And they have some... I, and Sam Light they is have the some best... At Walmart fucking light beer I've ever had. It, ha- it is. It's true. Well, oh, I've had... I they're usually had. in the the mixed long time. packs. I don't want to buy a pack of fucking beer just no. to have three three good ones, you know? Yeah. I agree. A 12-pack of fucking bottles just to have three good fucking Maybe beers. Maybe we should look on Amazon. Amazon. 
Yeah. Hey, Amazon's it's got transporting everything. alcohol across the border. Not if it's... Well, yeah, that could be a problem. I, I can always... The problem is going to, to places like Total Wine or Bevmo or whatever uh, for us is a fucking trip. Do they even have Bevmo here? I don't know, but they have Total Wine. Total and I love wine. Total Wine. Yeah, yeah, but it's a trip. Who cares? It's a fucking... Well, it's a trip to... You know, forty. It's a forty-minute trip. So what? Well, you I have to have it. something else to go down there for. Why? To total one. F- drive forty minutes just to go pick up a beer and, and just to drive back a beer. That's what I'm saying. And Del Taco. And Del Taco. That sounds pretty good. Del Taco and beer. There you go. There's our other now, reason. Now I've got to pour out. Costco. I don't want to drink the fucking swill. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll pour it in the plants. Pet smart. Kill him? Yeah, it wouldn't kill him. It's, it's I don't know. I might have to drink The alcohol Stella. would probably kill him. Still, it's fucking not cheap. You know? I'm just wondering if, if they're like other companies where they different own. divisions will actually see that shit and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? They own them, but. Right. By Bud Light. Yeah, or Budweiser owns them. Uh, so. Yeah, fucking, you too bad you didn't watch, and yes, I, I watched. <laughs> I love uh, Robert Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, on the Russell Brand show, it was pretty fucking good. It was good, yeah? That was really good. I like that guy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't it's good, vote yeah. for Democrats, but when I do... <laughs> well, but, okay, <laughs> so okay Dos Equis. But, you know, then I'm watching, and he's, like, mm. complaining about them not raising the debt ceiling. They need to raise the debt ceiling, yeah. and I'm like, he needs... He needs to learn that he's got to balance a budget if he's going to become president. I know who owns Dos Equis, because I'll buy more of that shit. Oh, Dos Equis is uh, Anheuser-Busch, too, I believe. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought it was Modelo. Modelo's there, too. Fuck. Why would you fucking sell Dos Equis? It's an Anheuser-Busch company. See, the thing is, though, is... He's an old-timey Democrat. Anheuser-Busch, in general, wasn't the one that did it. It was it the matter. VP of, of Bud Light. No, it, do, it doesn't matter. I think the whole uh, the company as a whole, everybody reports to somebody, and every, there is a head of that whole fucking company. And there should have been a, a guy in there with security with a fucking final check, and they should have been fucking yelling at him for two fucking hours going, Motherfucker, what the fuck did you just do? You know? And then, as a president... Heineken. Oh, yeah. Heineken owns. Oh, so. And uh, okay, who owns Heineken? Probably Heineken. It's German beer. Is it an Anheuser Busch company? Because on the list that I I showed, they owned Modella. They owned all of it. Yeah. Well, Heineken Holding NV is a public company listed on the NYSE. Uh, Oh, next Heineken Amsterdam. Itself on that. Yeah. Its single investment is Heineken International. Its majority is owned by uh, La Arch Green NV, an investment vehicle of the Heineken family and the Hoyer family. Oh, there you go. Okay. Heineken's Heineken. I'm not a big fan of Heineken. It's I not don't, bad, but I don't it's like not Heineken that great. at all. But, but they own Dos Equis? Yep. And nice. Modella. Which is no, funny because. No, no, no. Modella is. is Anheuser Busch. Okay. Modelo. Modelo's piss anyway. You just like Corona. I'll drink so, a Dos Equis in a heartbeat. Fucking Dos Equis is the best fucking. Well, I the, if you the just thing about. Dinner. What? I wonder if you just grab her dinner. Oh. Oh, your dinner? Mm-hmm. Is, I hope does not. she have a plate? I don't know. I heard her getting a drink. No, well, go, I hope not. Go find that, out. You know, need to fucking ask. Fuck it. Yeah. Anyway, with that being said, um, Dos Equis is a German recipe anyway. So. Got it. Yeah, so. It's, I guess, a German family from the 1800s. There's the fucking stories on the bottle. But. uh, Do you just have a drink? Oh, just drink? Okay. I don't want any fucking buzzer fingers on my Oh, no, I saw something much worse. 
What? She was pissing with the door open. Oh. Nice. Ain't nothing like watching your grandma pee with the door open. Thanks, Mom. It's just it's so exhausting. It's so frustrating. It's frustrating. Poor kid, man. <laughs> I'm frustrated. Oh, my God. Anyway, he knows what that, that's from, don't you? Yes, Beer Fest. Beer Fest. I love Beer Fest. But anyway, I've knocked the Germans. I've knocked uh, Anheuser-Busch. Um, we love Bush. And what's funny, in Bush Gardens was Anheuser-Busch, but they still are kind of, but they're owned by somebody else. So mm. you can still go to Bush Gardens. I, I wouldn't, I, you know. I'm just waiting for the next fucking mo- bullshit, please, Yunling and Sam Adams. Not he- Heineken own, owns Coors, he says. Heineken owns Coors? Coors Light. Uh oh. Man, they're all intertwined. Who doesn't own what? You know, all these bitches sell out to shit. You know, honestly, if I had a. I just read that thing. Okay, well, no, I'm just saying, if I had a company. Why would I want to sell it? I'd have generational wealth, man. And if I publicly traded it, I would only release 30% of the fucking stock. You know, I wouldn't want yeah. anybody anybody to own more than fucking 50% of my shit. Fuck that. So I guess Russell Brand's got a new um, podcast today, and it says Trump was right. What was he right about? Well, the Durham report came out yesterday. About how all of this nonsense about, yeah, it was the FBI, and the FBI knew it, that yeah. this Russian collusion thing and was, all bullshit. Thing was all bullshit. Yeah. Um, I, the, <laughs> the Trump thing, I watched the Crowder episode when, when they did the, you know, how they do the uh, town halls and shit. And Crowder sits there and commentates. Yeah. yeah. I watched that, and it was... Trump was so fucking entertaining in that. It was like 2016 Trump. Just fucking, like, literally bent her over and fucked the shit out of her the whole time. Well, and the funny thing is, is that this whole thing was supposed to be a town hall meeting. And where people were going to ask the questions. And instead, she just did a whole interview with him. Brought up everything that the Republicans wouldn't have brought up. Er, er, yeah, everything and in the she past. she brought everything up, and then he made her look like a damn fool. Yeah, he fucking schooled her. Um, you know that that was supposed to go on for 90 minutes, right? Yeah, they shut it down early. And they shut it down 70 minutes. That's because they, she got her ass handed to her. Yeah, well, they kept... And they were interviewing people after the fact. Oh, well, why, why do you think uh, Trump didn't talk about, you know current events and this and that and the people answered the interviewer it's like well, they kept bringing up old shit they kept bringing up everything that's happened in the past they didn't bring up anything new and then the the talk show guy goes don't you think Trump should have changed the uh, conversation to new you know current events and what have you and it's hard you know how, how in the fuck do you change your conversation to current events when somebody keeps asking you about shit that happened 30 fucking years ago grab them by the pussy I would like to know one fucking guy well I I know a couple of guys that are pretty straight fucking you know that wouldn't talk like that but I also know you know about a thousand more for every every one guy that that doesn't talk like that I, I can back it up with 10,000 that do talk you know, I'll grab them by the pussy I'll fuck her tonight you know, I hear shit like that all the fucking time. And what do you think chicks say? I mean, chicks say the same thing. You know? They get nasty. They get nasty. Talking well, about going down on, not, you know, that fucking guy and his mustache going down on you and shit. I, I forget what it was. It was during I don't some know, man. fucking I'm, I'm crisis. I'm speculating, but I'm sure it's pretty <laughs> close to that neighborhood. Well. Are you wondering how, how his fucking dick feels and shit? Am I wrong? How about, huh? Not quite. <laughs> but uh, I, you're gonna get fucking called. Well, hold on. You're gonna get called out 
Because you're giving up fucking women's secrets. I'm not saying shit. Oh, see? There, there it goes. Fucking buttons right up. Uh, but All I'm... I can say is we get nasty. And so... Oh, so there's a fucking... The only fucking woman code that they adhere to <laughs> is don't talk about shit we fucking talk it's about. It's like Fight Club, motherfucker. You know? But yeah. they talk... They do everything else. Yeah. You know, and men hold more, you know, hold it tighter than fucking, but we also think that shit like that, shit talk like that is not a big deal. Yeah. You know, some guys worry because it's like, don't tell my wife. I'm like, dude, your wife doesn't have a fucking sense of humor. Yeah, and yeah look, you and can tell like, me shit and yeah. it doesn't bother yeah, like, me. I like, you know. Normally you're snickering with There are a couple them. of fucking, like, bucket list chicks and, <laughs> and, and she's like, I'd fuck her, too. <laughs> I got a bucket list chick, too. <laughs> so, you know, there, there's shit like that. It's like, well, I'd be pissed if you didn't fuck her. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and it's not, yeah. Now, if you fucked mine, I'd be really upset. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, why wasn't I there? Anyway, that go ahead, Jess. Uh, I was just going to say, like, I, I was during some crisis or something like that years ago. Aww. And... You, mom, you, you were showing us on Facebook all these all these women, old and young, that were talking dirty throughout the whole thing because there was a bunch of like attractive police and firefighters and shit. Oh my god, I fucking. It's like, oh, I want to wrap my my legs around his head and all this shit on Facebook, and they're just it's all these dirty comments, and I'm like, holy shit, dude, they're fucking gnarly. Uh huh. Nickelback's Ryan Peak had to be talked off a ledge after Trump's photograph tweet in 2019. Canadian rockers. Maybe you should have gone over the ledge. Well, maybe they need like a little bit of like. Maybe they need a tampon. Self care, maybe or something. Yeah. Tampon up their ass. I don't know. Ice cold butt plug. Uh, yeah. Well. Since, Trump, since Trump's removed video echoed his unsubstantiated allegations that Biden improperly used his influence in office to benefit his son, Hunter. What do you mean unsubstantiated? He fucking was talking proudly about it to a fucking, during an interview. You know? I, I don't, what do you mean uns, unsubstantial? Uns, un, uh, unsubstantiated fucking. No. The Every time. time Elon Musk says he wants to erode the very fabric of civilization, Soros hates humanity. Soros does hate humanity. I was bummed out. I, I heard he was dead, and then, like... Oh, Soros died? Well, and then I heard, like, fucking the next day, or er, the next couple hours that he wasn't dead, and it was a rumor, and I'm oh, like, that God. fucking room of my day. No, it, it... Fucking... It, so, it, it wasn't a rumor. He just got the life force of a fucking teenager. Fucking Nazi. Yeah. And I don't understand why people stand by him. This dude is literally worked for the Nazi. He is literally a fucking Nazi. It, uh, I, I doubt he died. I, or, or no, he probably died. It's just they, they used fucking Stargate technology to bring him bring his ass back to life. Joey Belladonna is doing uh, four solo shows in Hampton Beach. That name means nothing to me. Joey Belladonna from uh, Anthrax? Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I can know the band members. Yeah, see, look at this. Okay, the opinion is there are hundreds if not thousands of Americans who just want their choice in beer to be to be political. Not pro-trans, not anti-trans, not any trans. Not political. It's like your movies. You don't want them to be political either. Unless you're watching a political documentation or something, you know? Yeah, you um... see that shit. I wish they would stay, you know, stay off. You know, I, I get certain actors, but when they, they are up there grandstanding and telling me that I should fucking spend my tax... Or spend more money in taxes for something that they won't, they can fuck off. I, I don't like actors on the right or left side thinking they can come out and sway a fucking opinion to weak-minded fools. You know, I, I, you can have an agenda like the, um, the comedian that did, you got to see the new Got Milk commercial, and it's uh, Wood Milk, 
is milk. fucking hilarious. It's making fun of uh, uh, vegan milk. Mm. And uh, it's just, she's fucking funny. But uh, I think that's, you know, that's probably the funniest fucking thing. You want to talk about a, a female comedian doing doing a funny advertisement? That would be the one for fucking, for milk. Not, not you know, Coors beer or fucking yeah. Miller beer. But uh, Halloween kicks off spring 2023 North American tour in Dallas. No shit. They're in Dallas. But that um, was, in, yeah, it was fucking May 15th. Today's May 15th, right? No, it was, that was yesterday. Yeah, today's the 16th. Today's the 16th. That's what happens when you have one fucking day off. You forget the fucking day. <laughs> you know? Like, hey, what day is it? Yeah, yesterday time. I kept thinking it was Saturday, so I kept... But today is the anniversary of Ronnie James Diaz passing. I kept yeah, writing I was shit about wrong. ready to read that. Uh, how many years has it been? 13, 12 or 13. So, uh, Richie Faulkner says Iron Maiden Steve Harris was an influence on his stage presence. Oh, really? Yeah. I like Faulkner. Because, yeah, yeah they are pretty good. Uh, Steve Harris definitely has a fucking stage presence. So, what else we got here? And then we talked about Trump. Blew my load doing that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the one thing I do hate is Trump and doing the, the desanctimonious and, and the DeSantis shit. Uh, the best thing they could have done, that Trump could have done, is like, hey, man, uh, I'd prefer you not running, but if you're going to run, may the best man win. And he would have looked like a fucking... A saint. He would have looked like a saint mm -hmm. instead of fucking talking shit. Yeah. And that then that would have been a serious, you know, thing for DeSantis. Like, oh, this guy looks too fucking good. Yeah, you know, I love DeSantis. I would, you know. But that that's the thing is that he came out immediately and started talking shit. Right. Meanwhile, you had DeSantis that was like quiet. Why? Why? He does know, he does his little jabs here and there, but he's generally quiet. But he's like, he's not like hyper aggressive like Trump is. He's just no. constantly talking shit. Right, but I figured if he was going to run, now would be the fucking time to announce it. Mm -hmm. But if it comes down to it, uh, between Trump and DeSantis, I would definitely vote for DeSantis. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it comes down to it, and it, that's a hard fucking hard one for me between uh, Trump, because I don't know, I know the second... Uh, 2A stance that uh, Kennedy has. He, he wants to enforce the laws we have uh, and not have any more laws on the books. Just do what we have, mm -hmm. which is, you know, pretty good. Yeah, it's we not where I want to actually it, need yeah. somebody that takes some of the laws off the books. A lot of the laws off the books? As with Trump, he did the bump stock ban and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he wanted to do, uh, like, a minority report and catch people before they were doing a crime, which is impossible. People are thinking that Trump's going to both Flynn into it and have him be uh, vice president, General Flynn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have trouble with the military because they've been so radicalized, like, the Navy now has uh, a couple of transgender people advertising for... Not Flynn. Flynn wasn't like any of the other guys. No, but I, I'm just saying. Uh, uh, we they, have a, a woke military that's dissolving in front of our eyes. They, um, they, they did Flynn dirty, man. Yeah, they do a lot of guys dirty. And, you know, I'm glad he's, you know... Yeah. But... You're talking about, uh, what's his name, Jess, uh, Donald, Donaldson from Florida? I have no idea. I, I stopped, I stopped looking at politics because it was making me hateful. No, the black guy that we liked. Oh, uh, it's Donald something. Yeah, Donald something. Yeah, I don't They're know. They're talking about him being his running mate. 
Yeah, well. We'll see. Yeah, we will. We'll see what happens in the, you know, the next little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, I don't know. I, I have trouble, you know, and the thing I want, I would like to see, and I know what would happen with uh, Robert Kennedy. He just hasn't said anything. He would fire a bunch of people if he went in. DeSantis would fire a bunch of people if he went in. Mm -hmm. And I haven't heard anything about Trump saying I'm going to wipe wipe out whoever the fuck is in there. And you know, the other thing I liked about Kennedy was he wants to shake up and possibly Byron resolve yeah, Byron. Uh, the FBI. I should, you should do that with the ATF, too. And we have how many fucking three-lettered agencies? Do we FBI, use? CIA, NSA, right. ATF. And he hates the Patriot Act. I hate the Patriot. I hate it from passion. fucking day one. And you remember that. I said, this is not fucking good. Yeah, we should not do that. I remember. And then everybody's like, I don't see what the problem is. Because fucking George Bush said it was okay. A lot of people are like, I'm good with it. I'm like, this is fucking Nazi shit, man. That's like fucking Stalin shit. George Bush piece of shit, too. God, man. I voted for that motherfucker. And he turned out to be a big piece of shit. Yeah, I voted for him twice. I didn't... I that, was that the time I, I, like, fuck, I'm not voting for that asshole? Who you voted for? No, the second time. Who you voted for in the second time? Are you time? sure? Yep. No, there was one that I said I'm, I can't consciously vote, and I voted ever. I voted all the way around except for president. Yeah, you didn't vote for Clinton the second time around. Yeah. Well, you didn't no, vote because for anybody. because I'm all a fool me once fucking kind of guy. And what happened? I voted Clinton. You voted for fucking Clinton. I'm like, hey, this bungle. guy sounds fucking good. I mean, hey, dude, it's but, all riveting and shit. Hey, man, oh man, this guy, you know. We had well, the dude problem is, in there, and we were they were working together. So okay, so well, he had some come on a girls. No, he you know. Clinton wasn't as good as everybody. Oh man, he balanced. No, he didn't balance fucking shit. He had a big fat fucking zero because he wasn't spending fucking people's retirements. You know? That's a plus to me. Well, no, what a plus would have been is actually balancing the motherfucking budget. He did budget. balance the budget. No, he did. Yes, he did. Him and Newt Gingrich balanced the budget. It was, I mean, when you look at the numbers, it wasn't balance, balance. We were. Balance budget to me is not. We're not spending any more money than we got. Balancing a budget is. We're paying off some of the money that we're not spending. You have spending. to balance the budget first before you can get into the black to where you can. No, no, no. Start. We're, I mean, we were so deep in the fucking red. You could have had. You could have turned around and said, "Hey, we're we're saving a billion dollars a year that could go into paying off our fucking debt. Something, a hundred million dollars, an extra fucking dollar would have done it. Instead of going up there, hey, we got a zero. We got all the money that's coming in is spent, and we're not spending any more." And we're living paycheck to paycheck. Wait, when I now was... We, now we're losing ten fucking trillion dollars every fucking four years. When I was looking at... Um, Actually, it's a lot more than that. I was looking at the debt clock back when Trump was in office. And towards the end of his term, he had it... We were spending less than what we were making. I don't know by how much, but we actually had a surplus in... In that regard. Well, that's that's all in good. I remember Obama came in and the debt went up a mm -hmm. trillion dollars every fucking year. Actually, more than that. Yeah, it was more than a trillion. It was like fucking ten trillion dollars in eight years. It went up. Trump came in. It went up. God knows how much. Not like that though. And then Biden came in and it went up fucking what another fucking ten trillion dollars in two years. Five fucking trillion dollars a year, and we just keep handing out fucking money. Oh. Handing out money to Ukraine. Would you would you rather see the Russians win or the? And that was the one thing. Would you rather see the Russians win or the fucking Ukrainians win? He I goes, don't I don't want to see anybody killing anybody. Fuck, I don't want to see it. I hope they both. And I hope we can stay out of it. And they both demolish, demolish each other because they're both fucking horrible people. Zelensky just suspended his fucking elections. Oh, 
yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty dictator thing to do. Yep. We all know the U.S. debt dictator. increased nine trillion dollars during the eight years Obama was in office. There you go. From the six or seven trillion that in total that the just the debt alone was seven trillion dollars roughly during Bush. And it went up to twenty. Yeah. 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 That's just insane. So how much how much has Biden spent in two years? He's been president for what, I guess. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. And he's fucked a lot of been shit. Been a few up. trillion. Huh? I said it's I had to have been a few trillion. Oh, I thought you said fifteen trillion dollars. No. I about fucking fell out of my seat. Like I'm going deaf because I heard fifteen. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't fall out of my seat. I would just wouldn't fucking doubt it. House stock go over ten years. President Biden's FY 2023 budget proposed spending seventy three trillion dollars. That's ridiculous. Did you hear the um, uh, reparations? Reparations. Five hundred uh, billion dollars in California on a state that that had nothing to do with the Civil War. Uh, okay, it went through a very small, whatever you want to call it, and it's not going to go any further. There's no way they can pay it. Right. That's just nonsense. You want to hear? All right, this is. This is, and it, it's on fucking video. They wanted, and this is a BLM people that said, to make things right, they wanted over $200 million per black person for the justice and, and all, all the fucking years that they've been put, you know, put down and, you know, slavery and all that. They wanted $200 million dollars. It came up to 480 some odd trillion dollars. And the whole planet's GDP is 85 trillion dollars. Yeah. So that yeah. means people in like Uganda and Zimbabwe not very are going to have to fucking get working. Okay. <laughs> These people that are talking are not very smart. 3.84 trillion. In two years. Yes. 4 trillion dollars in two years. So two trillion dollars a year. Total total spending is nine trillion. It says the U.S. Gro uh, gross domestic product is twenty six trillion. That's bull. He just he just canceled his something because U.S. Of federal money. spending official six trillion dollars. U.S. federal budget deficit is one point four trillion. The total state revenue, no, 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 U.S. federal tax revenue, $4.5 trillion. So every year we're losing a trillion dollars. Um, I just want to get back to uh, Nickelback. Revenue per Fuck citizen. Fuck you. Revenue per citizen, Canadian 13 pussy. grand. Debt per citizen, what 94 grand. What's that all about? Well, Debt you like Nickelback? Taxpayer. Do you I want a Nickelback? To. No, they were talking shit about Trump. Oh. That they had to be talked off the ledge. Oh. Oh. You know. Oh, I'm going to faint. You know, there's not a fucking real man in the bunch right there. No. Not a real man in the fucking bunch. And for all you motherfuckers that think I wouldn't fight a guy, I've done plenty of fucking stupid shit in my life. <laughs> I would fight all four of those motherfuckers right now, right now. I would I would like to drink a bottle of their fucking Crown Royal, the Canadian motherfuckers, and then I'll fight them. Median income is thirty five grand. I remember that being higher. Of what? Median income is thirty five thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars. For a U.S. citizen, right? For a U.S. citizen. Oh, I remember that being higher. That's for you all, all you American women that are looking for the six figure man. The median income okay. is five figures, low five figures. It's funny. Grand. The, there's actually a thing of. Uh, so you want your six pack? You want your six foot tall dude? Six six and six. And you six, want your fucking six, uh, six figure man? You're not gonna get your six 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 around anytime soon. It's less than actually. If you find a guy with that, all that, it's less than one percent of the population. Yeah, it's less than one percent of the population. 
good luck. And and most of the women that want that. I was just watching a thing the other day about that, and you know what they wanted and what they valued, and they're fucking liars. U.S. national debt's thirty-one trillion. But of course, the guy's got to be like fucking with that, with all that shit. He's got to be gorgeous, right? So, the high standards, and it leaves people like. Tariff tax revenue is only seventy two <laughs> billion dollars. Huh? Tariff tax revenue is only seventy two billion. The amount of shit that we ship out in and in and out. So that's tariffs coming in, right? Uh, I think so. So Dolly Parton has got She's dressed dressed up in snakeskin, and she's got a tiger tiger print steering wheel and a I have no idea what kind of fucking vehicle that is. Uh, she's done the cover to Led Zeppelin "Stairway to Heaven" uh, she? on her new Rockstar album. Oh. So I'm happy she's actually doing a Rockstar album because she in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It actually makes me happy. She's giving something back. I don't think she actually, she said not, she didn't accept it. Are you sure? Mm. She said after I do a rock and roll hall of fame, a rock and roll thing. I don't think she is in it. Hmm. Uh, I don't care. She's pretty fucking classy for doing shit yeah, like that. Yeah, she is. That, that is fucking cool. Yeah, she, she was inducted. Yeah. Okay. So she probably feels obligated to do a rock album. That's Which cool. is, you know, good enough for me, man. Early she was at... Is Dolly Parton in the... Okay. The decorated entertainer eventually decided to accept the nomination and was inducted alongside Carly Simon, Eminem, Lionel Richie, and Eurythmics. Um, yep, yeah, so she accepted. So the Music Hall of Fame... It's a Music Hall of Fame. It's not a Rock and Roll. It's not the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's a Music Hall no, of Fame. No, if Eminem's in it... <laughs> Even the Arrhythmics, they're not rock and roll. They were a pop when we were kids. Yeah. I don't know what you would really call that. It wasn't rock. I don't know. Dolly no, it Parton. Fucking, it was 80s shit. Dolly Parton. There's a lot of different 80s shit. There's no, Lionel like Richie. That was fucking, in the 80s. Yeah, but that, that was like kind of so, so fucking so bluesy, you know. Corporate shit. I just gotta let you know. Dolly Parton discusses taking aim at greedy politicians and new song, World on Fire. Fuck yeah, I want to hear that. I just really think often that they worry more about their party than they do about the people. Well, you know what's fucking funny? Is this kind of a warrior spirit than metal, you know, that's Megadeth shit territory right there. You know, um, that's, that's, that's fucking cool. Parton wrote the song herself. No and shit. In an interview of NBC Today, the singer-songwriter discusses the lyrics, particularly a few lines that take aim at greedy politicians, present and past. They wouldn't know the truth if, if it bit them in the ass. Um, when asked about the lyrics during her appearance, Parton uh, laughed and asked, "That's true, ain't it?" Uh, when pressed to elaborate on the pol. Uh, on the politicians, the country music hall of fame, uh, on which politicians the country music hall of fame uh, member might have been referring to, she answered, "All of them, any of them. I don't think any of them are trying hard enough." Nice. D- digging further into lyric, Parton added that the divisive nature of modern politics doesn't uh, lend itself to solutions. I just think often that they worry more about their party than they do the people. If we, uh, if we just do what we felt was right, uh, was the right thing, rather than who's going to lose or who's going to win this, or who's going to look better if they do this, rather than uh, what comes from the heart. Yeah, that's, that's fucking metal. You know I mean, that's not taking a side. That's like taking a people's side. But like, again, that also lends it right back to the classy thing of, you know. Maiden did the same thing right, with, with their fucking writing on the wall. Writing on the wall. You know, a lot of metal bands do do a lot of neutral, you know, all politics or all politicians are fucked. 
you know, kind of deal. That is fucking awesome. That's some classy shit. I will buy that album. I'll go out of my way to fucking buy that. She deserves it. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, uh... Oh, here, here you go, Mom. Oh, what's up? I don't know if you can... Yeah? That's her album cover. Uh, Nina Strauss. And I, I think Rob Halford's on it. No, she has a bunch of different people on it. Yeah, but I think Rob but, Halford's... Yeah, no, Rob Halford's doing something with her, yeah. he's. I think he's doing a full-blown collaboration with her. Yeah. A couple songs, one or two, I think. So. Which, fucking, um... Halford's always down to do something new. Yngwie and uh, Glenn Hughes are uh, doing a summer tour in the U.S., Tua. Nice. Um, Stephen Pierce says the 1980s hard rock and heavy metal bands don't get enough respect from Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you, Stephen Pierce. No, they don't. Yeah, they were hard rock, I guess. They definitely weren't heavy metal. But, uh, Shiprock, all right. We were talking about uh, uh, metal cruises. Uh, I prevail, kill switch, and oh, oh, Shiprock twenty twenty four. It's got uh, I prevail, kill switch, engage, bear tooth. All right, and that's what I'm talking about. If you want a a list fucking deal? You got one with kill switch. I well, prevail. It's, the, it's uh, not the Howard Jones or uh, whatever his name is. Jesse Leach. Right. A uh, whole different singer. Wow, Shiprock sold out in three fucking days. How long is a fucking cruise? I Prevail, Beartooth, Kill Switch, Highly Suspect, Code Orange, Bad Flower, Blackstone Cherry, I know who that is. Uh, Cassette, Broken Love, Catch Your Breath. Crowbot, Dayseeker, Dead Poet Society, Dorothy, Eva Under Fire, From Ashes to New, Science Queen, Tiger Cub, The Warning, Wyona Fighter, and Yonica. That's who's going to be on Shiprock. Uh, cruise, auction raise, incredible $125,000 for cancer research. Uh, so it's actually six days. Miami, Bimini, Oka Rios, and Grand Cayman. Uh, you might like it better on our. Yeah, uh, we're yeah our cruise. Yeah, that's that's you know I was reading some people the other night, and it was around a COVID time, and like only if people knew how to uh, uh, social distance. I'm like, how in the fuck do you social distance on a fucking cruise? You know, and you know, take your shot and shut the fuck up. A guy, okay, because I were confiscated, a guy brought an air purifier. And I go, okay, so he just he just wants, you know, might have some condition that when he sleeps he needs, you know, yeah, yeah. filtered air. Set it up right no. next to the He goes, door. oh, you know, uh, coronavirus and all that. What are you, stupid? And he's wearing a mat. I'm like, you're having an air purifier? Is he on able him? to bring an air purifier in? Mm-hmm. Oh, I might do that. No. You're going to be out in the fucking ocean. Why Why are you going to bring an air purifier? Because I like fresh air from the hotel room. Yeah, and they have fresh air in the fucking air conditioners. And the it is all, it's all filtered air throughout the whole boat. Traveling at fucking 30 fucking miles an hour on a boat. Yeah. You're going to get plenty of fresh air. On a motherfucking ship. On a motherfucking boat in the middle of on the motherfucking boat, Atlantic. Or the Caribbean. Um, but yeah, he brought Atlantic it. Atlantic and the Caribbean, yeah. He brought it for fucking COVID. What a douchebag! Yeah. Do you know I wanna I wanna fucking pull the fucking mask down it's and punch him in the fucking teeth. Wow! As hard as I, I can. You. you know. So you bought into this bullshit that you were gonna get a, a shot and you weren't gonna catch the fucking thing, and then every time anybody's gotten a shot, they catch fucking COVID tw- two, three fucking times as much mm-hmm. as anybody who has ever got it without the fucking shot. 
You know, this is ridiculous. Not to mention the science. The science, your fucking Lord and Savior Fauci has fucking lied to you. And the CDC and all the fucking science has come out afterwards saying he is full of shit. So, fucking crack a newspaper. Oh, wait. And they, they, they don't exist yeah, nobody anymore. Nobody fucking reads a newspaper. Nobody reads anymore. They they are told what to what to think by their fucking, you know, Anderson Coopers of the of the fucking world and the Don Lemons, which fuck that cocksucker, because he <laughs> got fired. He's he, literally a cocksucker. You, yeah, you can't use that as an insult. You know, your he mom loves a cocksucker cock. too. He's assaulted guys over cock. <laughs> oh yeah, he has had me. Yeah. Oh. He's been very aggressive in bars. Wait, you're not a cocksucker? Mm-hmm. I am. On a rare occasion. <laughs> On rare occasions. Well, she admits it's rare. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so we're going to enjoy our Star Trek cruise. Yes, we are. Yes, I could say that because, you know... That's only a few thousand of our closest Star Trek friends. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't care what politics they have. I don't, as long as they're not talking it on the boat. That's a fucking... I want to talk about safe zone. That's my fucking safe zone. Don't talk about politics while I'm on fucking vacation. Hopefully I don't mention shit. You're going to be the one talking about politics. On the fucking boat. No, I, I no, won't. No, no. I'm, I'm I will not. I will forget about what... keeping our phones here? Fuck no. Fuck no. You don't want to do that. No, I... I, I want to get a... One of the... Well, yeah, I don't give a shit. Get a satellite phone, but I want to keep... I want to have our phones. I'll turn it off on the fucking... But just in case... Okay. You, are you going to get a satellite phone? No, it's a cheapy phone. Mm. Cheapy... Oh, what? Oh, a cheapy... Bring, uh, um, oh, a burner. Yeah. Okay, you so... A burner. Uh, whenever you guys end up getting your prohibited list, it'll be like three months out from your vacation. Um... Let me know. Yeah. Because Disney allows um, certain things. Walkies. Allows what? Walkie talkies. So so long as there are very few channels, like one, two channels. Uh huh. If they're meant to just talk to each other, it's fine. Once you start, some people try to bring like thirty channel radios. It's not okay. It starts. Well, most walkie talkies thirty channel radio. It starts interfering with the shit. So, um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll let you pack us. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull out all our shit. So you're allowed to take full-blown bottles of shampoo and shit on? Mm, I think so, yes. Oh, well, it's not like an airplane. No. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It's, you know, I can take, I can take my, my soap on. And whatever alcohol and my, you bring, don't put it in your checked bags, if you have checked bags. No, they're going in my backpack. backpack. Yes. And I'm going to bring three bottles. I know you say two for Disney, but they say they'll take a bottle and give it to you later. Yeah. So. Well, it'd still be two bottles a person. I don't, I don't know if yours is two bottles. Oh, two bottles a person? For Disney. Oh, shit. I'll have to take a look at what they got. Yeah. I don't need but, four bottles of fucking. But di- different cruises have different policies. Yeah. In Miami, when they do like Royal and shit, two bottles a room. So one bottle a person. Depending on how big the room is. You could have eight people in the room. Mm. Two bottles. Well, I think this is... They said you can bring as many bottles as you want, but you have to check your bottles. You'll check your bottles, and then they'll bring you a bottle every day of your the shit that you have. See, that, that'd be nice. So I would give them the inexpensive stuff and keep yeah. the expensive shit in the room. Yeah, I, I think they're just trying to make sure that people don't get fucking hammered. Well, I mean, wh- why have a drink package if you're going to, you know... If you're going to bring in a, b- a bunch yeah. of booze, yeah. And then, because we're going to have a drink package, and if they're going to call it, then I'm going to have her feed me drinks. Yeah. You know? And they're going to... I guess they force you to buy a drink package, so... You, you were going to get it anyway, weren't you? Well, your mom wasn't. Well, you'll have to find out if they're going to force you to get the drink baggage. So I think that's a little little off because I know there are people that, that are AA, non-drinkers and shit, that would be upset about buying an alcohol package. 
I'm curious to see how much the Well, it's yeah. possible that they bought a certain ticket that requires you to get that. Right. And they they might have just bought the wrong a, a different ticket than they actually yeah. needed. Well, I I definitely wanted to get the drink package and I wanted to bring a few thousand bucks. Uh for, you know, like if we lost it, it wouldn't be a big deal kind of deal because I'm not going to lose fucking cards. There was a guy, there's a guy I work with, he went, he was going on the casino. Uh-huh. So what they do is, is you're allowed to bring some money, but they'll give you, an, a, like, a grand. And obviously you'll pay, pay that with your ticket. But right. they'll, they'll give you a grand. Well, he was going so often, he built credit with them. Oh, no shit. And so they were giving him more money. Because he was going multiple times a year. Yeah, but we're not going on a. I'm. This is for offshore, no, off boat spending saying, is yeah. what I wanted the money for. No, I'm just saying. Kind like he thing. he was fucking. He just was going so often that they started working with him. Yeah, but um, when it comes down to it, if if I'm gonna go eat at one of their restaurants, I'm gonna bill it to the room. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna bring a card with me. I mean, that's a, the smart thing to do. Especially to a fucking another country. Well, no, no. I mean, like, there there are restaurants on shit. That have oh, yeah. higher end food. That mm-hmm. you know, if I'm going to go to the restaurant, I'll just say, "Hey, I'll build a bill, you know, this room." Yeah. And we'll, we'll have our credit card attached. Yeah, to it. we'll have our credit card attached to the room, and I don't want to carry a fucking credit card around if I'm going to be wasted and in my fucking swim trunks all day, <laughs> my dick and balls hanging out. Hey. You know, this is a Star Trek cru- cruise. Everybody's going to be dressed up in something. I gotta get my Star Trek Hawaiian shirt. Yep. You know, and then she's gonna get a fucking Star Trek, a couple Star Trek Hawaiian uh, sir, sundresses and shit. Sir, this is a Star Trek cruise. Put your dick away. He's a, <laughs> no, no. You know what it's gonna be, sir? No shirt cocking on a deck. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? Uh, shirt cocking. Don't shit. come out of your room, shirt cocking. I thought the shirt was long enough. <laughs> See, no, I can see your balls. Nah, balls nah, tuna. You're yeah, making but you me... can also put on a speedo, and oh, your balls no. will still hang out. Yeah. You're you're making me think about fucking Deadpool. Yeah. Hey, look, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's all getting up. He's walking with the baby legs. Yeah, that's uh, that's disturbing. Okay. That was... Well, that is a good way to end the... Yeah, it's actually a fucking right, happy ending. I guess we're end the show because people want to walk away. Fuck no, we're, we're at 57 minutes. 57 minutes, alright. So, it's been an hour. Yeah, it's been a bit. Right. It was funny. Fucking... See you later. Peace out.